the Texas grid or some of these other grids that have a lot of renewable power, the problem they have is they have no uh, way of using the power exactly when all the wind is blowing. And so what happens is the Texas grid gets saturated with power because all the wind farms are blowing. And so when you're driving through a wind farm, you might see 30, 40% of the turbines are turned off. And that is called curtailment. So when you connect to a wind farm substation, what happens is you might get, you might uh, save some time because you, you have a substation that's insisting, but you still need to figure out how to create all the agreements so that you can consume energy from the wind farm, even though the price of the Texas grid is this, the wind farm wants to make a different price, all of these things. And so there's a lot of legal agreements and there's a lot of code that has to get built to prove all this stuff out and make sure that it's reliable. That stuff just takes time. You have to build relationships with a lot of different people. You can't rush these things. So that's another challenge. A lot of people who develop green energy, it's like a survival game. <laughs> Almost all projects, when you start, they pencil out financially. They'll all make money. The problem is they all take different, there's, there's that unknown element, the regulation, the relationships, the something's new, you know, you have to get land, you have to do all these things. And so those uncertainties that seem so trivial aren't trivial at all. They're just unknowns and you don't have a lot of control over them.